Welcome back Tater Tuds to the channel for another new episode of our Solar System Legacy Challenge, episode 12. We are here on this Saturday morning with Eli and little Mason. They have just been sitting here practicing some flashcards, trying to teach him some words. He's like, look, broccoli, broccoli. He's like, yuck, dad, I don't want to eat broccoli. That's gross. And Eli's like, okay, well, what about this one? Okay, Baba, this is your Baba. That's what I tried to teach my son. Oh, and he's like, I still don't understand, Dad, but it's okay, little man. You're just now learning. But anyways, Eli is about to head off to work, so we will be going with him today. We do need to try to interrogate another suspect if we can, and that way we can get him closer to another promotion, because I think that'd be great if we could get past even the corporal level, because technically we are only on level two. So as long as we don't exceed level five, we'll be all right. And Mariah looks like she has been really enjoying herself this morning since she hasn't had to constantly care for a crying baby. And we did add a little bit of furniture here to the nursery, as you can see. Oh, I should get rid of that little mobile up there. But yeah, we just have some toys strewn about and he actually got this mat. Um, it was in our inventory and I think he got it as a gift from his promotion. So I just put it cause it looked like that cook blah 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 that clicking connecting floor tiles that I have for my son as well so I thought it'd be great in the nursery so okay guys here we go my game has been quite laggy since that patch update we just got so I apologize if it seems laggy to you guys um, also I did add several more mods and CC in so I might need to go through and filter to see what is causing more of the issue but people really think there could ever be such thing as zombies I want to prove them wrong do you think zombies are real he'll just say sure okay well we need to search criminals at the booking station and get criminals fingerprints at the booking station so it looks like we'll be doing a lot over here today so let's go ahead and search a suspect we're gonna search that Kyla girl that we arrested last time it looks like she is having a rough one over here this morning she's like I can't believe that they have kept me here overnight like are they really going to leave me in this place all right, girl, it's time for us to search you. Let's see what we end up finding. Are we going to find a fish in her pants like we did the other guy? I don't know. But he's like, okay, so far, so good. Not seeing too much of anything. So let's see if you're clean. All right, seems like you're clean. Oh, maybe not. Oh, found a toy car. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get her fingerprints as well. Here we go. Looks like he's always having an error with getting her fingerprints, but you know, I feel that because when I had to go do something like that before, not because I was in prison, guys. <laughs> it was not for that. I think it was for when I was getting, was it my pass? No, it wasn't my passport. Oh, it was when I actually went to Japan. When we came in, they had to like scan your fingerprints or something. And yeah, the machine was like not reading me. And oh my gosh, why is Uncle Victor even here? Who even knows? Okay, but we need to interrogate a suspect. So we're going to go ahead and interrogate her again to see if we can find out any more information from her because she didn't really want to give Eli much of anything. And uh oh, he's not in a very good mood. And so ooh, he might not do too well in this interrogation. For some reason, it wouldn't let us interrogate the suspect. Like she keeps sitting down at the desk in front of the booking station and not going to the interrogation table so instead I'm just gonna send him out on patrol and then see maybe when we get back if we'll be able to actually interrogate her so for now let's see what we can find out or if there's any like citations that we can give out I was real confused at first I thought we had two Caleb the tours they just have the same hair that's all so it looks like we are down here in Windenburg I believe so we need to issue a citation let's pick this up and because Eli, you're the one who literally just um, knocked that over. So that's all your own fault. Eli has just been out here chatting with some of the civilians, but we have not seen anyone do much of anything to issue a citation unless I'm totally missing it. But no one has littered from what I've seen or gotten into a fight. I was wondering if you found me attractive. He's like, of course I do, babe. She must be feeling like some serious negativity towards the way her body looks after having a baby, which, you know, I think as women, most of us do get that feeling at some point. But I mean, you got to give your body some time. You just add a baby. Like I only just now am starting to feel 
more like getting back to my physical self that I was before I had my son and he's yeah officially nine months old now so <laughs> it's like you know it took nine months to get the baby there and grow him and so you got to give yourself at least nine months to you know feel at least a little bit better we are going to try a second time to try to interrogate the suspect so let's see maybe since we got her straight out of the cell she will go to where we need to Come on. Okay, guys, I think it's going to work this time, which is great because now we can get this checked off for our next promotion. So, okay, looks like they are trying again. He's like, you need to talk. Kyla seems tense. Is there stuff that I'm supposed to do during the... Oh, oh, pause this. There are things to do. Okay, good cop. So let's be the good... Ask politely for information. Ask about the crime... Okay, so let's see. Tell a person to discuss the victim. Let's um, ask politely for information. We'll, we'll start with that. She looks a little bit tense. So, okay, we're, we're talking. Oh, no, she didn't like that. So we can... Oh, may, maybe she's doing okay. So we can make some small talk with her. I think we can offer her a candy bar, maybe. <laughs> see if she would like that maybe try to make her feel she's still staying tense like um let's try to ask about the crime we're going to show her some fingerprint evidence oh look he's like look we have your fingerprints right here what do you make of that and she's looking a little bit shocked oh she appears friendly now Okay, she's like, okay, I think you might have caught me. I'm so sorry. Like, and he's going to show her the witness statement. He's like, okay. And these other people here also saw you leaving the scene of the crime. So you can't get away from us. We definitely know what is going on. So, okay. Looks like she's really starting to, um, you know, give us the information that we need. And show her the crime pictures. And let's see, I'm guessing if this bar goes all the way up, that means that we interrogate her successfully. Okay, I think she gave us all the information we need. Let's see, is the bar gonna go up all the way? The suspect appears to be guilty. It's time to put this criminal behind bars. <gasps> so we did get somebody, yes! Okay, Eli's workday will end in one hour. He should wrap up, okay. Well, let's, uh, what do we do now? We're going to have her give us the confession. So here she goes. She's like, it was me. You were right. He's like, I knew it. I called it. Totally got you. So, okay. Here we go. Oh, look, she's so, she's like, I can't believe it. I can't believe I was caught. I thought I covered up my tracks well enough. He's like, nope. Sorry, honey. You're going to be spending the night here. And if not, longer. So case closed. Nice work. That's one more criminal off the streets. Unfortunately, crime never sleeps. And we have another case waiting for you. Get the assignment from a computer and get back out there. Eli is home from work now, and so as you guys can see, we have brought his performance up, so I think there is a promotion coming up in his future. But Eli did have this notification pop up that how long has it been? Eli can't help but wonder if this career is right for him. One thing is for sure, there needs to be some kind of change, right? So once again, he's starting to feel that, you know, maybe things aren't going as well as he thought, but he knows that he did a good job with getting that criminal behind bars where they need to be, but it's still so much pressure and he's starting to doubt himself once again. And can I really do this? Like, is this really for me? But Mariah really thinks that he would be successful in this career. So she kind of keeps pushing him. Plus she enjoys the um, money that is coming in because with it being more of a government type job, it is very secure and financially and also it's great that he can get holidays when he wants to have them off but most of the time I feel like Eli would probably work the holidays because I feel like he wouldn't want to have to be forced to spend any time with his father since he you know had some daddy issues but look at cute little Mason in here like Mariah is having so much fun with this toddler face so maybe things are looking up for her but it does look like our fridge is broken so we're gonna have to have our boy come in here and repair this looks like Evan has called out to Eli want to go dancing with me I really need this today so he's like oh, okay Evan fine it is a Saturday night I'll go out with you so he is leaving Mariah with Mason which Mariah is not super stoked about but at the same time she doesn't know if perhaps something is going on with Evan that maybe Evan needs to talk with Eli about 
We have arrived outside the nightclub and look how cute Evan is. I totally, uh, I miss him. But he, you know, he's got to move on. He's got to be with his wife and all her kids that apparently she's already had. And boy, what was I doing? I was going to change his outfit because he better not walk into the club in his police uniform. Like that's going to make people run the other way. It looks like Victor's wife, Madison, is also here. So she is chatting with Evan. She's like, hey, how's it going? Your Uncle Victor wanted me to check up on you. And he's like, yeah, you know, things are going pretty good. And looks like this girl has come to join the conversation. But we need to come over here and talk with our brother to see kind of what's going on. Oh, and of course, our dad is here. You know, oh my gosh, and Madison, you know what I think actually happened? is I think Evan has invited Eli to come here to the club because he knew that their dad Vance was here because Vance has been wanting to see Eli and Eli has not made any time to visit and see his dad and so Victor is here as well to try to be like a cushion um, to try to keep things really low key and that's why Madison's here because she's like look I'm gonna be here to watch if there's any like anything that hits the fan like I want to know and then Mariah she's just here because she heard through the grapevine that Vance is going to be here and this girl can't give up on him like she is so stuck on him all the time so um yeah I think uh Eli is starting to feel a little bit um attacked here comes daddy Daryl Eli has come in to where all the music is playing and he's just totally ignoring his dad and look here's Uncle Vincent too and Maria oh my gosh we basically have the whole family like we are just missing Eden and Eve Eli has come over here to get himself a drink because he's like oh this is gonna be a long night I can't believe that Evan invited everyone out like especially dad like he knows how I feel about things like I just I question him a lot he's like maybe I should just talk to this guy Ken he looks pretty chill like maybe I could just act like I'm really busy and dang Maria you be breaking it down we got Maria daddy Daryl uncle Victor uncle Vincent dad uncle Victor's wife Mariah oh my gosh and Melissa boy like Vance I feel like he's basically almost slept with this whole neighborhood if i'm being honest oh and look our poor boy evan is just over here <laughs> asleep and this lady is like i should be quiet i don't want to wake him poor thing he's just he's probably exhausted from all his military training and whatnot and then by being asked by his dad to try to get eli to come out here and look now eli's falling asleep because he's had a rough night on the shift of being a cop and so these people man so Eli is coming over here. He is feeling very flirty because he's, I don't know, he's drunk. But he is coming over here to accuse his dad of spying on him. And so, because I didn't realize that that could actually be an interaction. But yeah, he's coming over here to tell him that because he is, a, what do you call it, a paranoid sim. So here we go. Come on, Eli. Get started with it. Okay, oh, apparently we've reached level two of the mischievous skill, which I didn't even know. Oh wait, come back here. Come back here, Vance. We are not done talking to you. So here comes Eli. He's confronting his dad. And oh, oh no, here comes Uncle Victor to try to keep it all calm. So he's like, Dad, why are you always spying on me? Like, I swear you're always trying to talk to me. And he's like, look, son, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I'm really not trying to do any harm. I just want to make sure you're okay. It looks like Daryl has tried to come in between to keep things calm. He's like, what's going on, grandson? Like, just keep things, keep things relaxed. Like, there's no reason for you to get so upset. He's like, dad, like, you just don't get it. Why can't you just let me be an adult and leave me alone? And Vance is starting to feel pretty upset. He's like, look, I just, I care about you. And he's like, but do you? Because you didn't really seem to care most of my life growing up. Like, you seem to always ignore us and just do your own thing. Like, you never made time for any of us. You were always just too busy with all the women and going out on dates and leaving us at the house alone. And Vance, he's upset because he doesn't really know what else to say because he feels like technically Eli's not wrong, but he doesn't want to admit that. Vance is pretty prideful and vain. And Eli's just, uh, dad, just give it up. Like you keep wanting to have some kind of close relationship with me and it's just never going to happen. Vance has such a hard time understanding Eli because he doesn't understand what it feels like to be paranoid. Like Eli is always paranoid that 
you know, what if the same thing happens to him, what happened to his mother? And what if he ends up losing a, his father or any of his brothers to like before their time? Like these are things he's just not ready or prepared to deal with. Eli is coming over to give Evan a hug just to thank him for being here for me. He's like, look, man, I got to go to work here in a few hours, so I've got to go. But it was great seeing you tonight, even if it was all a setup. And look, he's saying hi to Metasol. He's like, oh, hey, Metasol, looks like things are still going pretty well for you. And Vincent is terrified about something, probably a ghost. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and send this boy on home because he is not doing well. We have gotten back to the house and uh, things are just not going well. Little Mason has been starving, but look how sweet his little patient face is. And oh, girl, it looks like you gave this boy some cereal. I don't know if this little man should have cereal yet, but okay. And... Oh, poor Eli. He is in here taking a shower. We need to feed him. He is literally as exhausted as can be. I think we're going to send him on to work alone today. I don't know how well his performance will be with being so sleepy, but you know, we can try. We can send him over here to just take a quick nap. Eli is taking a nap and we're going to have little adorable sweet Mason come in here to play with the rock a stack. So let's see how it looks. I've never had a toddler do this before, so I'm really excited to watch it. Girl, Mariah, you getting all up in my way. Look, she's just standing right in the way so that I can't watch. Look. Oh, look at these animations. So cute. Oh, good job, little Mason. Yeah, you were able to get the... Oh, we got the red one on first. Oh, Oh, that's not the right size. We need to move the red one. But he's so cute. And I love how this actually like builds a skill. Oh, and he even puts it in his mouth. <gasps> what a cute animation. I need to get one of these for my son because I don't have one. I just got him a set of like the little blocks where you can fit them into the different um, hole shapes or whatever. And he has been loving that. So I definitely need to get him one of those. And look, he's been wanting to be friendly with Eli, which is precious. What are these donut looking rings? I know, right? Yummy. So he had yummy food. Good little Mason. Oh, your dad dad's in there sleeping. He's gonna, he's gotta go to work. So he's gonna have a rough day ahead of him. But I figure we will send him on to work alone and I will spend some time with Mariah taking care of Mason. Oh no, don't go in the toilet. No, no, no. We're going to calmly say, don't splash in the toilet, sweetie. Like, that's not good. That's where the poo-poos go. That's the no-no. We don't need to do that because it's bad and it's full of germs. We don't want to get sick. So, oh, dang, girl, you've already reached level four with the parenting skill. Like, she's actually doing pretty good at this parent thing, I have to say. I'm proud of this girl. And, oh, it looks like Eli woke up. Not sure why. Probably, oh, because he's so hungry. Oh, that is so cute. Little Mason signaled for her to p pick him up and put him in the high chair. Like he just wanted to sit up here to be closer to his daddy. Oh, that's so cute. Little Mason. I feel like I've never had my toddler actually do that because she just put him in here and he was so happy. And oh, Eli's having a paranoid moment. I feel like he thinks he hears voices all the time, but look, little Mason's so happy to be with his daddy, but his daddy is so tired and just wants to go to bed. So he's going to go in here and we're going to put him to sleep for just a little bit longer before he heads off to work. And what is this? Stay on lot for eight hours. Oh, that's right. They, they're wanting to go on a vacation to Granite Falls. So maybe we will do that. Well, I think next weekend is... Um, a spooky day so it might not be next week and maybe we could go during the week we'll figure it out okay I've never used this crib either so here we go she's gonna put little Mason in his crib she's like it's time for you to go to sleep sweetie why don't you just take a nice morning nap because I think you're probably pretty exhausted so don't you worry about it so it looks like okay let's read Mason to sleep can she pull out a book to read to him well she's looking a little bit disheartened but we did see and see and send Eli into work so um let's he is already working hard and boy you just came out of your crib so I think we're going to put him back in his crib she's like no honey you need to take a nap you're really tired sweetie so if we lock the crib while he's in there can he not get out I'm assuming 
So let, let's try it. Lock the crib. Looks like he's upset that she put him in there. She's like, it's okay, but look at your tired little eyes. He's fighting her so hard. He's like, no, mommy, I don't want to be in here. So, oh, look at him. <gasps> look at him fighting against the crib. That is so funny, but so sad and cute. <laughs> look at that face. He's so sad, but look, you can see little blood vessels in his eyes because they're all bloodshot because he's so tired. Little baby, you're okay. Don't panic. Mariah's like, oh, I can do this. It's going to be fine. He's so sad. Look at this. Like the whole side of the crib like actually shakes. He's like, no. She's like, oh my gosh, Mason. I promise you, you're tired. Just go to bed. It's going to be okay. So, okay, there he is. She's like, I'm going to leave you alone to it. So you just think about it. You do need to go to sleep. Look at him. He's so tired. Yeah, you just go to bed, sweetie. You're okay. Look at this. <gasps> he goes to sleep in the crib sideways. Oh, my son sleeps sideways all the time, but he's not this age. So he uh, is stretched out like flat on his stomach he rarely well he does sleep on his side sometimes but that's so cute like the realism of this like when they give us infants and that new expansion pack that's supposed to come uh, I think I'm guessing at the start of next year like they better have it like this to be realistic and like actual cribs it's a must Mariah came in here to check on her son because he did wake up. Oh, there he goes. Instead of taking a nap, he's going to actually go to sleep. He's like, you came in here, Mom, to eat a corn dog in front of me. Now I'm hungry. He's so upset. So, Oh, he is very hungry. So I think we do need to actually feed him. Okay, thank goodness she has finally given him food because for a second there, I thought we were going to get him taken away since it popped up to say feed him before he gets taken away. Like, okay, well, that would have ruined this whole episode. Like, literally lose our next uh, gen for the legacy. Wait, what has just happened? We have a phone call for the baby. Toddlers don't have phones. Then why is it ringing? But we just had this. Death is inevitable. Mariah knows that. Mariah just didn't think that she would be thinking about it so soon. There's still so much to do. How will Mariah get everything done if death is just around the corner? Is it safer to just hide forever? Hi, Mariah. I'm calling to let you know that Sutomu Suzuki has passed away. I'm so sorry for your loss. Who is that? Is that her Sutomi? Sutomu. 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 Oh, it's her father. Her father just passed away. Oh, poor girl. No wonder she's so sad. That's a great reason to be sad. And then little Mason here just will not go to sleep. He's just exhausted and he needs to sleep. Like, come on, little boy, just go to bed. You're okay. And this girl, I think we're going to have her come in here. Just give herself a nice thoughtful shower. Just get away, girl. Like, just let it be. And why will he not sleep? Just go to sleep sweetie like is it because it's glitching out or something so it's not letting him actually sleep like look okay is it actually working now he looks pretty peaceful so stay asleep i mean in real like if we're being realistic toddlers <laughs> they don't sleep anyways Mariah, you can tell, is just so disheartened by the news. She just doesn't know what to do. She's crying in the shower because she's so devastated. And the loss in the family. It's hard to see those close to us pass away. So we might have to go and visit her family. You're truly missed. I would do anything to spend another day with you. Poor girl. Like, she is really, really heartbroken. So we're probably going to have her just come and cry it out here in the bed and then just send her to sleep because she is just exhausted from her day and taking care of Mason all day. So this poor girl, she's really having it rough right now. So anyways, Tater Tots, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. We might spend some more time with Mariah in the next episode to visit her family and whatnot with the devastation. It looks like Eli has gotten home. He earned a vacation day and I think we will get a promotion next time. So once again tater tots thank you so much and if you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the future episodes and don't forget to hit that like button and uh com drop a comment down below let me know what you guys think and i'm shocked still that maria and daryl are still going so strong like 
<laughs> I mean, I'm happy they are, but you know, I'm waiting for them to kick the bucket any day now too. So thank you once again, and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>